everyone, welcome to 9design 3D channel. In this video we will try an Instagram reel style, subway cinematic scene and simple animation. I will use the Moodle I used in the train cinematic I made before. You can access the detailed preparation of that train and another cinematic scene design from the top right card. You can go there. Let's go to the tutorial. First of all, I'll look at some night metro station pictures on Google Image. If you want, you can take various references and work directly on realistic modeling. Since I want to do something a little more in the style of the reels, I will be inspired by such pictures. If you remember, we worked on an interior animation for the train cinematic before. As I said, you can access that video from the top right card. We will import our old models into the empty Blender file. We open it with Append. We select File, Append and our project. Then we take City and Subway as a collection. As you see, we imported City model too, but hide for this first. If you want, you can make taller your Subway train with the Shift D to duplicate it. Let's make this front part of it. I search on Subway reference image from the Google and I will make look like that. For our inner part of the doors and windows, I will shift it to duplicate it. Add a cube and scale around it. Give a shape like our trains outside. And for the under part of it, you can add some loop cuts with Ctrl R. Select face and E to extrude it. In the vertex mode, press M and merge at center. You can connect them each other with this. Choose your side corners, side edges. Before this, don't forget to control A, Alt, Transform and set origin, origin to geometry. Choose your side edges and control B to bevel. Don't forget to make it in X-ray mode. You can add another extra loop cut and Ctrl B to bevel for making a smooth top look. Now, if you want, you can make some stop lights for the subway, add a circle. And in the edit mode, E to extrude in Y axis, S to scale, E to extrude right click and S to scale again and E to extrude for the inner part of it and S, press F to fill it. Shade smooth and don't forget the normals auto smooth. If you want, you can give some bevel for smoothness. And shift it to this face for the making glass part. And copy that with shift D. Ctrl J to join them. With the adding mirror modifier, choose your outside part and it will look like that. You can give some materials. My old project in it was a bit gray, but I will a bit darker gray and more metallic. For the doors, use same thing. As a second material, choose some faces and assign your second material where you want. You can add something on decals or etc. If you want to make same material, to another part of it, choose all material it and last selection which material you want. You can Ctrl L and link the material for the other objects. We will add train for emission. As you see, assign, add an emission and increase your power. Let's make sidewalks. Add a plane and press S to scale it. Place it where you want and E to extrude it down. Now I downloaded some materials from the, as a concrete and tactile paving from the mbcg.com as a 2K. If you want, you can download this or different materials. We will add this for the concrete material first. Go to shading tab. Press Principal PSDF and press Ctrl Shift T. Choose your concrete maps. 
For the Ctrl Shift T working, go to Edit Preferences and write Node Wrangler for this. You can activate it like that. I will UN Smart UV project to this. Add the loop to loop cut with Ctrl R and add second material and make it new material and assign. Choose other maps from your second material. Again, Ctrl Shift D and select your map. With the U Smart UV project, you can change it. If you want to make it a bit small, you can go to UV Edit tab and scale in here. It will look like that. Let's add some rainy puddle wet effect to this. Between the roughness and principle BSDF, add noise texture and color ramp. As a color ramp, you can see the black note make it a bit wet and white is opposite. You can use your notes which type of wetness you want. Now it's time to add an array modifier. Press X to zero value and Change your value in y-axis. Now you can increase your count. Shift it to duplicate and rotate. Delete this second material. Your sidewall will be white. From the sketch fab, I will download some street light like that. Thanks for the Abby for this model. Now you can add some material, tap to edit mode and select a face with L and assign your second material to this. Add an emission and give your color and power. For this, of course, you can add some array modifier and change value in Y axis. If it look a bit weird, first you can add Ctrl A all transform for this to giving true and positive value. I shift it to duplicate for the other part of it. First we need some rail road. From the sketch web, you can download some rail track. I will download this thanks to Mike for this model. I will use it. Import. You can scale and place it. And add an array modifier it too. Give a value in X axis and increase your count. Shift it to duplicate, of course, for the other side. We will add some cube for making subway stop. G to move your top part. Add some loop cuts to this Ctrl B to bevel. Choose these faces and E to extrude. For the other side of it, you can choose these faces too and E to extrude to this. Add the loop cuts for all of it. Z to wireframe and choose these vertices and delete them. Now we will add a mirror modifier. In tab to edit mode, select all and G to move where you want. Don't forget to check clipping. Our subway stop station is almost ready. For the roof part of it, you can add a plane and E to extrude it. Give some shape, back and side of it. Yes, now we can add some plane for glasses. Place them and move where you want. Actually, it will look like that now. It's time to add some materials. Choose the other glasses and last selection material to one. Ctrl L and link material. It's the easy way for this. For the rail and 
metal part of it, you can add some black metal. Increase your metallic and decrease your roughness for this. Again the same method, Ctrl L, Link Material. That is ready now. It's time to add some side rails to our station. Add a cylinder. Shift it to duplicate it. Ctrl G to join them together. Add a black metal. Now let's give some array modifier. Set your Y value. And increase your count. For the top part of it you can add another cylinder. Move it to the middle of it. And as to scale in Y axis. Shift it to duplicate, of course, for the other side of it. Now let's add some trees and forests for the background. From the Blender kit, I download this low poly trees. And I am moving them with my camera angle where I want. I can put them. In the particle part of it, you can change your hair length. Number, seed and segments. Shift it to duplicate your this forest part. If you want to make it different changes on it, you can press as in new particle system. I am shifted to duplicate for the other parts to make longer my subway station. It will look like that in the cycles. Now it's time to add some bench. Add a plane. Add some loop cuts with Ctrl R. Choose some faces. Press Y to split them. Add some random loop cuts with the Ctrl R. And activate your proportional edit. And move them top or down. For the proportional edit side, you can use your middle mouse button. Select all faces and E to extrude. Shift it to duplicate for the bottom part of it. For the bench legs, I will add some circle. In tab to edit mode, I will delete half of it. Select all. E to extrude right click and Alt S to scale. After that, select all again. E to extrude to the back, Shade Smooth and Auto Smooth. You can add some random wood material. As I showed before the Ambient CG, you can find some different material types from there. I am adding from here. You to unwrap some parts to rotation and tidy up them. For the legs, I am adding my black metal material to this. And shift it to duplicate where you want, you can put them to your station. As an extra, I will download some idle animations as a, with the characters from the Mixamo. I will download this character, which type you want. If you want, you can make it a bit sci-fi or the old type of it. You can download and choose an animation as an idle or running or standing idle. I will download them. Import. Import your FBX from the Mixamo. Put your character where you want. Now I will import the other character too. Let's add some area light as a disk shape. You can change this area light's color. And fill your scene how you want. Don't make too much light because in the cycle it can be cause a problem. Shift it to duplicate for the other side too. If it's too high or make your scene too slow, you can delete some part of it or you can add a one big light source to, to your scene. From our city collection, I will unhide them. Select objects and I want to get some lighter buildings for the back side of my scene from my camera angle. I will shift it to duplicate them and press S to scale.
and I am adding my other building to my scene. First thing first, we will add an empty cube and choose all train parts of it and last selection cube, Control P and object keep transform. Now when you move your cube now, your train will be moving with it. Press I, location rotation scale for giving some keyframe. Go to last keyframe from your timeline and move your train after that. And press I, location rotation scale. As you see, your train will be moved like that on its railway road. You can get which type of animation you want. If you want, you can stop the train or open the door we made before. You can go from the top right card. Before all of this, choose your output file and the file format FFmpeg and as an encoding MPEG4. And after that, you can press your render animation. It will be start your rendering. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later in new tutorials.